Dr. Mark, he sent for me. Where have you been, madam? I had to go and make sure that my granddaughter was picked from school by my driver. Is Amanda alright? Yes, she is. The inflammation is going down. But she's still saying words. Like what? I am pregnant with your child, Maxwell. Don't leave me, Maxwell. My wedding ring. My wedding ring. I am drowning. Help me. Help me, Maxwell. Mother, does any of those words mean anything to you? They don't make me mean anything to me or they don't make any sense to me. So who is Maxwell? I don't know who is Maxwell. But doctor, please, do me a favor. What is it? I want you to run a pregnancy test on her. Let me know whether if she is pregnant. Well, I have already done that and she is not pregnant. Good. So, the pregnancy she spoke about and the Maxwell, maybe it will be in her past. Most likely. Uh, please, doctor. I want you to do me one more favor. What could that be? Please. Please don't tell my son about this yet. He will lose it. I believe in Amanda. She is a good girl. Yes. All right, no problems, madam. Um, she will look after her while I send it. Also, come and bring some drugs to her. Okay. Meanwhile, you'll have to excuse me now because I'm going to my office. Okay. Carol, why did you do this to me? You left my house without saying goodbye. You knew how much I love you. I love you to the leg you matched on the ground. I know. But I was, I was nothing more than a prostitute, a whore, a sex worker, and you knew it. But you changed. You became a better person. We were going to get married. Why did you leave me? Why, Carol? I was afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid you would only see me as a prostitute. Mally, see you now reminds me of it. You see, sometimes in life, we ought to forgive ourselves. You have to forgive yourself. There is never a time I saw you as a sex hawk. Not for one day. Are you for real? Yes. I am for real. I am saying this from my heart. You're the best that I've ever dated. Not until she came along. You sound as if you are no longer happy with what you have. What is the problem? I am afraid. I am afraid because someday the woman I married might wake up one day and regain her consciousness and, 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 and regain her lost memory. And I will find out that the woman I, I, I married is not what I thought she has been all this while. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid of a dead woman who actually might not be dead. I'm afraid that one day she will come back and take my husband away from me. Carol. I missed you. Look at this portion of Bible, John 3.16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This God gave only son that he has to God.
Sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, something came up, so I have to attend to it. Hmm? What is it? Okay, okay, okay. I am coming from the hospital, and I met with the doctor. The doctor in charge. Amanda is fine. Are you okay now? Okay, let me...
angel dwell. Why do you have to come back to my life? Right now. Hello, baby. Baby, how was your day? Everything is moving perfectly as it, it has been planned. My dear, God has been faithful. I'm sorry I haven't called you as I should. I'm sorry. Oh yes, I was starting to wonder if um, everything was okay. Everything is fine. Like I said, everything is moving perfectly. Um, honey, how is Jordan and Maggie coping with Benny? Ah, uh, right now they're getting along really well. And Bernie's cooking has improved. She wowed everyone with her potato and fish sauce today. Wow. Beautiful. Good news. Baby. If this is actually the true situation of things, she needs to get to stay for long. Oh yes, she has really improved on her culinary skills. Wow! Mm -hmm. And that will translate to more time for both of us. So romantic. You know, I love it when you sound and make me this much. It makes me feel like a real woman. And that's the reason you should hurry up and get back home. Because I miss you so much. Alright, I know you're going to have a very busy day tomorrow, so let me let you sleep. Alright? Okay, good night. Hold on, I love you and I miss you so much. Good night, I love you. Why did I find? 
terminal. that that there might be a reason we met again at this time. Joa, please don't make me do something stupid. Your wife will be fine. You'll move on with that. I trust my husband still loves me. Okay, um, just that. I find myself missing you. Maybe we should give ourselves time, you know? Stop it! Just stop it! Stop messing up my fractured mind! Don't take advantage of my fear! In fact, good night. should have been listening to Uncle Ijoma. The worst thing I did to myself was taking to prostitution. I am not afraid of Maxwell's first wife coming back. I am afraid because I can't compare myself with her. I am an ex prostitute. God, my sins have finally cut off with me. I don't know if I deserve to ask you for help. Please help me. I don't want Maxwell to know about my past. And I don't want his wife to come back if she's still alive. Do you like it? You yeah, ask me that I like it. Of course I love it. But why are you being stingy? You have shown me everything. I feel like touching. <laughs> Baby, I'm trying to round up my business here and return back to you. You better do that or just run back immediately. Because if you turn down something, you need to come back here and tell me that. Okay. I will try and finish up my business here today. I can't wait to be in your arms. I can't wait to. Take care of yourself, my love.
Maybe did not yield to the pressure to wake Amanda. The inflammation on her head is gradually going down finally. Hey, thank God! Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, um, look, if she wakes up, will she be able to regain her memory? Oh, that I cannot say for now. Uh, when she wakes up, uh, she could have a little memory loss. Little uh, none of it at all. However, Amanda is going to wake up like a normal person. Doctor, Amanda has started talking again in her sleep. Did you look at what she said? Yes, sir. I guess she was talking to you. What's in there? Joel. Help me, Joel. Baby, please don't let me go. I don't understand this one. Nurse. Does she actually say this one? Yes, sir. She did. What did she say? So, I didn't die. I am alive. Who are you? I don't know you. Where is my child? No, I can't drown again in the river. He loves me. I don't know you. She was actually talking to you. Well, I just think she's voicing her thoughts. At the same time, having many visions. Uh, Madam? Yes, for me. I wish you can be coming to the city all the time. So that I can be carrying you and be moving around the town. I, I told my wife about you, but she did not believe me. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that, in spite of my many flaws, your wife still think of me as an angel? <laughs> that is it. That is exactly what she said. Though. She said you are an angel. She said you are sent from heaven to come and help the family. You see, madam, before you came, a lot of things have been going on with my family. We cannot have food to eat. Even my children cannot go to school. I cannot even buy them clothes. So. But since you came, everything has changed. Now, madam, I must also say that uh, you are really an angel from heaven. Uh, 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 madam, uh, this one you always talk about, your dark past. You see, everybody has a dark past. But I don't know why you are so particular about this your dark past. Femi, don't worry. You, you will not understand. God, I wish I'm actually an angel. Help me heal my past and I'll become one. It's okay. Uh, ma ma madam, from the look at your face, I can see that... Uh, you have some bodies. Uh, 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 me and my wife, we will put you in our prayers. 
and we will talk to God because there is nothing God cannot do. A little Mary will answer your prayers. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Femi, please remind me when we get to the hotel so that I will give you what I promised you. Okay? Uh, Esima. Esu, Esu. I will, I will remind you when we get there. A little Mary will bless you. Amen. Everything you put your hands at the answer. You are not going to be able 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 to be to be able to be able to be you to prepare. Is it ready? Oh, I'm not done. I'm not yet done. Hurry up. No, I told you I need it in 15 minutes. Hurry up. I'm going with it right now. I'm sorry sir, I should have said it to you long ago. I saw that lady at Imperial Hospital weeks ago. What do you make of her? She almost looked like your dead wife. She doesn't just look like my dead wife, she is a spitting image of my dead wife. was never found. any amount of money right now to not be in my current situation. Yeah? This minute everything seems fine. The next minute everything seems crashing down. Your wife isn't getting better, is she? She's getting better, but her past. Someone called to tell me that her past might not be her parents. That doesn't sound good. It all looks like we all have 
something we want to hide from. See, my wife is not the one hiding her past from me. But there is someone out there who doesn't want her past to be revisited. I pray you find what you're looking for. And when you do, I hope it won't be bad enough to separate you two. Joel, I'm leaving town this evening. I am going to miss you. I am going to miss you so much. I wish I had seen you a year ago. I will miss you more. There is something about you which I have missed all these years. Which is? My past. I'm afraid of my past. But with you, I am not afraid of my past. I am not afraid you will find out who I used to be and leave me. Maybe it was stupid enough for me to have left you years back. Yes, I have to go now. That was my parting case. I couldn't do it years ago. I have a husband and kids. Please don't come looking for me. Uh, I... Amanda, do you know who this man is? I actually thought you've gotten your memory back. Did I lose my memory? It's okay, Amanda. Your memory is fine. Do you by any chance remember the name Maxwell? No, I don't. And what about Joel? Joel is my husband, and we have a daughter, Chelsea. Well, your daughter is fine. Nurse, take this file to my office. Daughter-in-law has no knowledge of what she saw or even said why she was unconscious. But one thing I want you to know is that she is going to regain her memory. But I'm afraid it's going to be a very painful one. Why painful one, Doctor? You see, it's one of those things. I understand how you feel, okay, but Try and take good care of her. It's okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. No problems. I'll be in my office. Alright.
I'm about to embark on a journey back home. Please lead me. Protect my journey. In Jesus' name. Goodbye to this place. Could he be? What could have happened to him? I don't have a clue. However, it bothers me that he went missing the day we hired him to look into your past. Do you think his disappearance has something to do with me? What if it's all a coincidence? Perhaps it's all a coincidence. I can't shake off the feelings that Stone's disappearance have something to do with the job we gave to him. <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh my God! Oh my God! Baby! Could be my past. I even afraid of myself. Who would want my past hidden? Do you think my parents have the resources to make Stone disappear? No, they don't. But it's very clear that they're hiding something. I will chat with my mother tomorrow and I will harass every truth they are hiding from me out of her. She won't give in so easily if what they're hiding is a big deal. I don't. Care. I will make her talk. Get the